Auto popular subscribe now. Welcome to Chanel Auto Popular. Sten likewise declared it would assemble 100 cases of what was initially to be known as the Vantage GT3, a somewhat conditioned down race auto for the street. It makes utilization of carbon fiber all over, including the rooftop and hood, and is controlled by a needed form of the corporate V12 that makes 591 horsepower. Not long after the variation was uncovered, Porsche disagreed with the GT3 name as it utilizes it on superior 911s, thus Aston consented to change the name to GT12 as a kind of perspective to the motor's chamber tally. The Vantage GT12 went discounted in 2015, yet not in the United States. The Vantage lineup changes little for 2016. Updates incorporate another touch interface for the inside stack, and additionally the option of a few new inside hues, another wheel plan, recently accessible Glencoe cowhide, and two new outside hues, cinnabar orange and ultramarine black. For 2017, the Vantage lineup streamlines with a V8 Vantage GTS and V12 Vantage S as the main models. Both hardtop and convertible forms are accessible and either model can be outfitted with a programmed or manual transmission, albeit just 100 V12 Vantage S models with a manual will be made and just 100 GTS variants will be made out and out. Aston Martin Vantage History The Vantage has a long and recognized, however to some degree disconnected, history at Aston Martin. The Vantage name has been affixed to vehicles and fits and begins since 1951, when it appeared on the DB2 Vantage. Following a two-year run, the Vantage name went on an eight-year rest until 1961-63 when it returned for the DB4 Vantage. That started a progression of autos going through 1969, including the DB5 and DB6 Vantage models. The majority of the DB prefix Vantages advanced a typical topic of outline and execution that assembled the Vantage name and, in numerous regards, Aston's notoriety for style and speed. Following the first DB arrangement autos, another short rest saw the name light torpid until the point that its arrival for a two-year keep running in 1972 and 1973 as, basically, the Vantage. Returning by and by in 1977, the V8 Vantage would keep running until 1989. In 1986, a Vantage Volante convertible joined the Roadster, likewise finishing its keep running in 1989. This second group, the V8 Vantages, took both the name and the Aston Martin mark in new ways, both elaborately and as far as execution. Very nearly a kind of lavish British muscle auto, the Vantages of this period were V8 control, as the name suggests bigger, heavier autos that moved into the great visiting domain. From 1999 to 2003, the DB prefix came back with the DB7 V12 Vantage, carrying with it another propel, this time into the cutting-edge period of Aston Martin outline and extents. This auto was composed amid Ford's responsibility for Aston and Jaguar, and the DB7 started life as an idea for a F-type that wasn't manufactured. In view of an adjusted Jaguar XJS stage, the 420 horsepower DB7 V12 Vantage all things considered figured out how to stake out its own particular region in the extraordinary games auto world. 